Happy New Year, and uh, welcome to an exciting 2021. We've got a lot of uh, things in store for you this semester. I'm not entirely sure how exactly everything is going to look, but we do have some important announcements to make in this video here as we're getting ready to get started. So, before we get into the announcements and talk about specific things for your classes, I would like to introduce to you our student teacher for this semester. And from the video you can see here, it's not this gentleman on my left. The gentleman on my right. This is Mr. <laughs> Perbelski from Ball State University. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Mr. Perbelski. Uh, as Mr. Geisler said, I'm from Ball State University. I'll be student teaching with you guys this semester. Uh, my primary instrument is percussion, and I'm originally from South Bend, Indiana. So yeah, really looking forward to working with you guys. We're excited to have you. Welcome to Anderson High School, Mr. P. So getting into the announcements here, the first class we're talking to is our guitar class. Obviously, to be in this class, you need to have a method book and you need to have your guitar. So this week, we have a window of time for you to be able to come and pick things up. Your parents work a regular nine to five job. We've made it so that on Thursday of this week, from five to seven, any time between five and seven, you can pick up your instrument. If that time doesn't work for you, but you have some availability during the regular school day from 7.30 to 2.30, then you can um, come during that time any day here uh, until we get to the end of the school week. What we are requesting is for those of you in the guitar class to please email myself or Mr. Zare and let us know ahead of time when you plan to be here, um, just so that we can uh, make sure that you have your equipment uh, in a quick manner. All right, uh, next class, dance class. Uh, really, there's not a whole lot different that's going to be uh, different with this semester compared to last semester. Uh, we'll let you know when you're in for pregame for basketball. Uh, until then, just keep spinning, keep an eye on Canvas uh, for the assignments that uh, Nikki posts on Canvas. And uh, before I get to the next group to talk to, if you are a guitar student and you're still watching this video, you're welcome to go ahead and uh, shut it off. Nothing else that we're talking about now pertains to guitar. So we're going to move on to Winter Guard, and I have an important announcement for Winter Guard. The uh, IHSCGA has stated that instead of following academic elig eligibility as we have done in the past, we're just concerned about eligibility moving forward. And eligibility is defined as you being a student at the high school that you're participating with. So as long as you are a student enrolled at Anderson High School, you are eligible to participate in Winter Guard this season. Practices resume this week. If you are at practice, we're going to put you in the show. If you don't come to practice, we're not going to uh, plan on having you with us this season. Uh, bagpipes. Uh, evening practices are expected. Uh, we did not have great attendance last semester with those evening practices, and that needs to change this semester. Especially with us starting on virtual, you've got to be there. We will communicate what days and what times those will be with uh, Denise and you need to show up. You've got to be there. Yep. So make sure you guys are keeping on top of that pipes. You know, we're, we're hopeful that as the vaccines are rolling out a little more frequently in the upcoming months that maybe we'll be able to resume what uh, we uh, didn't get to do last year, the St. Patrick's Day Parade. So uh, keep, that, keep your eye on the target there. For Jazz Lab and Jazz Ensemble, the Jazz Festival is quickly coming upon us. Now, um, Jazz Lab, we didn't get to get you guys started the way we always do every school year, and it's not your fault, it's just how, how the school year has gone, but Jazz Lab is not prepared to be able to put together a performance, even if we return in person every day um, in the next, you know, four or five weeks. So um, I did get a hold of the coordinator for that festival, and I've canceled Jazz Lab's appearance. Jazz Ensemble, we're going to have to just continue to watch the schedule and, and see what, um, what the school year looks like and if we can get something put together that we're going to feel okay performing publicly. So still keep that date on your calendar for Jazz Ensemble. However, Jazz Lab, I am announcing in this video that you guys will not be performing at the Jazz Festival. So continuing with all of the band classes, so both Jazz classes, Symphonic Band, and Wind Ensemble, uh, this announcement is about basketball. Uh, as of now, the earliest we can do anything uh, would be the week of January 25th. Uh, currently, we're in the works of planning that week to be a special spirit week. The band will not be playing at any games uh, before that week. We will communicate as we get closer to that week uh, what is going to happen. So on February 6th, we're hosting our Festival of Colors Guard Contest, and we are still on for that date. 
How exactly that's going to look, I don't know for sure yet. Just three days ago, they sent out a document with some guidelines. And just today, I received an email uh, an hour ago saying that I have a Zoom meeting on Sunday at 7 p.m. to discuss a lot of details for how this event is supposed to look. To look. Remember at the beginning of the year when we handed out that calendar and we talked to all of you about how this is a required event that we have to have you guys at. Um, it's gonna be a different event this year. We will not need as many volunteers. Having said that, we will need volunteers and we need for your participation. So um, keep that date clear on your books and um, we will let you know what we need from you as soon as we have an idea of what that looks like. We have a, an executive board boosters meeting uh, this coming Monday. That's only for the members of the exec board that were voted into office. Um, and at that meeting, we'll talk about the, the planning for guard contest and everything else. So if your parent is an exec board member, you might give them that reminder. The next general boosters meeting is the first Monday of February, which is February the 1st. And that also is the week of the guard contest. We do want a good turnout for that general boosters meeting. And I know most of your parents have not come to any of these general meetings yet. But um, it's important, especially for parent volunteers, to be present, to be aware, know what it is that we need to do for that week. Then on Thursday of that week, February 4th, we have a volunteers meeting for the guard contest. At that meeting, we're going to tell you what your job is. We're going to show you how to do it. I give a tour of the building to, to talk you through. If you're a color guard coming to compete at Anderson High School, here are the doors you come in. Here's where your props came from. Here's your route to get to the gym. Here's how you exit, all those important details. So uh, make sure you keep those, those dates in mind. Exec board members, January 11th. General boosters, February 1st. Guard contest volunteers meeting, February 4th. Uh, solo and ensemble. Normally we start to talk about solo and ensemble in the first semester around December, uh, but because everything is virtual with that, uh, they push back a lot of the deadlines. Uh, so today, which is Tuesday, you will be receiving an email with a whole bunch of solo and ensemble information. Make sure you read that really closely and really thoroughly. Uh, there's a lot of important information in there and a lot of important deadlines uh, to look at. Right now, uh, the biggest thing that I want to make sure is clear, if anybody signs up for solo and ensemble and is not prepared when the time comes to record your performance, uh, then we will not allow you to submit that recording to be judged. So as we get into our final announcement here, we want to remind you that it's really important, not just in our class, but your other classes, to pay attention to what is posted on Canvas. Check Canvas and your email every day. Don't sleep in until 2 in the afternoon. Get yourself a sandwich, go play some Halo, and then pop on at 6 o'clock that night and think that's the time to start doing your homework. You need to get yourselves up, get yourselves into a routine, and, and know what you're supposed to do at the beginning of the day, not at the end. Um, and when, uh, when doing that, as we're moving into this next week um, for, uh, for Canvas and how you're doing assignments, if we are virtual next week, and we will find out sometime this week whatever administration decides to do, what we're going to do is shift away from you turning in recordings to us, and we're going to go back to the notion of what we call guided practice sessions. So what that means is there's going to be a block of time when we have a Zoom room open, and you are expected for a grade to be present in that Zoom room, and you're going to be working on whatever material we have assigned you, or if you've got a solo ensemble piece that you're working on, and between myself, Mr. Zare, Mr. P, uh, we, will, we will assist you as you are practicing for that period of time. So it's important you have your instrument, have your music, and be there. Then um, moving into this week's assignment. So number one, watch this video. Number two, for this week, you're going to pop in on Zoom and meet us at your scheduled time, which is posted on Canvas. If the time that you're scheduled to be with us does not work out, then you need to email one of us and join us during one of our other classes. So if you're in wind ensemble and you can't meet your wind ensemble time, come to the, the pipes dance class. We, we can work with you on that, but make sure you communicate. If you do not check in with us, then starting at 7.30 on Friday morning, the three of us are going to start making phone calls and we'll take it right down power school and we're going to get a hold of you who uh, have not started off your semester correctly. Now, why are we doing something like that? Obviously, number one, we, we care about you and we want you to be successful in this class and your other classes and in life. Two, there are a sizable number of students that we have not seen much out of during the second quarter. And we need to know that you are alive. 
We need to know that you are still enrolled as a student at Anderson High School, and we need to know that you're busy doing what it is that you're supposed to be doing. So make your life easy, not awkward, and be present at your scheduled Zoom meeting or communicate with us and attend one of the other Zoom meetings. We are excited to see you guys as soon as we can, whenever we can, and uh, so we hope to see you very soon in person, but if not, till that time we'll be able to see you on Zoom. Happy New Year.